Hi everyone, welcome back our channel. Today I'm going to talking about HPLC column packing columns. HPLC, or High Performance Liquid Chromatography, is a technique that is used to separate different components of a sample. It is a very powerful technique that is used in a wide variety of applications, including pharmaceutical analysis, food safety testing, and environmental monitoring. In HPLC, the sample is dissolved in a liquid called the mobile phase. The mobile phase is then pumped through a column that is packed with a stationary phase. The stationary phase is a material that interacts with the different components of the sample in different ways. This interaction causes the components to elute from the column at different times, which allows them to be separated. The stationary phase is what makes HPLC column packing columns so important. The type of stationary phase that is used will determine the type of separation that is possible. There are many different types of stationary phases available, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. The type of column that is best for a particular application will depend on the size and polarity of the molecules that need to be separated, as well as the desired resolution. Types of HPLC Column Packing Columns there are many different types of HPLC column packing columns available. Some of the most common types include 1. Silica columns. Silica columns are the most common type of HPLC column packing column. They are made from silica gel, which is a porous material that has a high surface area. This makes silica columns very efficient at separating different components of a sample. 2. C18 columns. C18 columns are also very common. They are made from a material that is chemically bonded to silica gel. This gives them a more specific interaction with certain types of molecules which can improve the separation. 3. Ion exchange columns. Ion exchange columns are used to separate molecules based on their charge. They contain a stationary phase that has a positive or negative charge. This charge attracts molecules of the opposite charge, which causes them to elute from the column at different times. Conclusion In this video, I've talked about HPLC column packing columns. I've explained what they are and why they are important. I've also talked about some of the different types of HPLC column packing columns that are available. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.